Hi, my name is Jonathan Miller, and I'm the Chief Product Officer and one of the co-founders at Hive Lighting. Today I'd like to talk about our new Wasp 100C Omnicolor LED product and some of the great optical accessories we have available to add to the control you would like to use with the light. First, a little introduction to the light itself. The Wasp 100C is what we at Hive Lighting call an Omnicolor LED. An Omnicolor LED combines all of the white light color quality and control you would expect from a bicolor, giving you a broad range of white light, along with all of the various color control and fully saturated color you would expect from an RGB unit. We actually achieve this with five different fully saturated colored chips. We use a red, an amber, a lime, a cyan, and a sapphire. This gives us a very full spectrum of light that allows a huge white light range from 1650 Kelvin all the way up to 8,000 Kelvin, along with fully saturated colors, allowing us to achieve any color in the rainbow, which is a really exciting amount of control. Let me show you how you can achieve this with the WASP 100C. If you look at this light here, this is our standard WASP 100C. It's got a 22 degree reflector, barn doors, as well as the body, yoke, and a lens set. The controls of the light are on the back of the light itself. We have four different options for how you can control the light. Saturation, hue, color temperature, and dimming, or output. We call this our shot controls. Through our perfect shot controls, you're able to create the perfect lighting for any situation. On the display in the back, we'll start with the bottom row, where you see dimming output. You're able to control dimming all the way up from 0 to 100%, and step by either 10% or 1% at a time. You're also able to adjust the color temperature. Right now, I have this light set to 5600. But I can show you the full color temperature range by going all the way down to 1650 and all the way up to 8000 Kelvin. We also have the ability to add saturation to this. When we say saturation, we're really talking about moving the light off of the white light range all the way up to fully saturated, almost party gel-like colors. So really the colors of the rainbow itself. When we fully saturate the light, we get a full, a deep, strong color. And we can do 360 degrees uh, of color. And that's how we represent it, as the 0 to 360 degree scale that covers the entire visible light spectrum. However, what also is really powerful about saturation is when you have it at less than 100%, it ceases to act as a fully saturated light, but instead starts to function like a gel, where you can add points of color as correction for both matching light sources, matching cameras, perfecting the skin tone of a subject, or just trying to match the light of the situation you're in, whether that's the daylight that changes over the course of the day, or in different locations having fixed practical lighting that you're not able to change. So this is a really powerful tool. If you look at the back of the light again, you can control this either through the knobs that we use on our OLED menu, or you can control it through DMX input. And finally, we have a smartphone app that allows you to control this as well. Along with these powerful control systems in terms of the control of the color of the light itself, we also have a series of optical accessories that can be added to the light fixture that allow you to control the beam, the output, and the spread of the light source itself. A WASP-100C comes stock with its 22-degree reflector. Having said that, you can remove this reflector, and then you have a 180-degree raw single light source. I'll do that now. I have the light dimmed down so that it's easier to see. But as you can see, it's a very even field, and we can create very crisp, clean shadows with it. This allows for a powerful tool when we combine it with different optics. This is our adjustable Fresnel. The adjustable Fresnel from Hive Lighting works just like a traditional incandescent or HMI Fresnel. It spots and floods from 15 to 50 degrees and mounts to the exact same fixture as the PAR reflector. What is different about this light is that we do change, we do move the 
lens itself as opposed to the light source so that we're able to use the same fixture with a variety of different accessories. I'm going to turn the light off for a second to show you how easy it is to switch between optical solutions. So we're taking off our Fresnel right now and we're putting on our super spot reflector. The super spot reflector is another parabolic reflector, so it's a PAR style reflector that is very similar to the 22 degree reflector that we use as our stock. However, it's a 10 degree spot, so it's perfect for very high output and very long throw. Again, we use our custom high vanet mount for this. So as you can see, it's relatively easy to get, take it off and to put it back on again. Having said that, we don't only use optical accessories that are made custom by Hive. We also have the option of using any Profoto style mounting accessory. The Wasp 100C has a 100 millimeter diameter. This allows us to put any Profoto style reflector or softbox directly onto the light once we remove the 22 degree reflector, like this. This speed ring will allow us to attach a wide variety of different softboxes, whether they were made by Hive, made by a third party manufacturer such as Profoto or Chimera, but also allows us to access things like Westcott, Ellenchrome, literally hundreds of different kinds of softboxes can be used with this light. The final accessory I want to show you is one of our most popular. This is our Source 4 Mini adapter plate. Hive manufactures the plate itself, which can, allows you to take ETC's standard Mini Source 4 and attach it directly to our light. Once this is attached, you have a really powerful tool. It's a theatrical style spot that can be cut and shaped as well as have gobos added to it to throw patterns. This allows for the light to be used not only for fine tabletop work, but also for live event, for theatrical applications, and really any place where that kind of creative control on the light head itself uh, is helpful. The final accessory I want to show you is actually not an optical one, but a power-based one. This is our battery plate. We have two different kinds. This is a gold mount, but we also do a V-mount style battery plate. This allows you to run the light directly off of battery, and it's relatively easy to attach. It has a small plunger with its mounting clip, and it attaches directly to the yoke of the light. You're actually able to attach this on either side of the fixture. Then, using a DTAP cable, you can either go directly into the battery or into the battery plate, and then its four-pin XLR goes into the back of the head itself. The final thing to know about the battery plate is that you can actually remove this mounting clip, and it can be replaced with a Mafer clamp. With a Mafer clamp, you then don't need to attach it to the yoke, but can actually attach it to the stand, or to a pole, or to some sort of grip rigging, whatever is needed for the, your specific production. And with that, I hope you understand some of the many different optical accessories that are available for the WASP 100C. We like to think that it is a light source that has a huge amount of different applications it can be used for, and a huge amount of possibilities. We really wanted to emphasize flexibility with this light. It has a broad range of color control, has a broad range of controls in and of itself, whether through DMX, the iPhone app, or controlling on the head itself. And finally, a huge swath of optical options that allow you to control the light for any lighting scenario. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Info at Hive Lighting, visit our website, www.hivelighting.com, or contact OneSource to learn more about both pricing, availability, and any technical questions you may have. Thank you for your time.